Gosh, let's go out here. Why did I leave my car? Should have just waited for someone to come along. This is a huge forest. I'm completely lost now. I don't even recognize that mountain. Where did that come from? Did I pass it already? I, I don't know. It started snowing even. I hope there's someone around here. Whoa. What is this? Someone's house? Looks like a giant present. Hello? Someone live here? This is different. I'll, I'll just knock on the door. Hello? Someone here? Doesn't sound like it. I'll just go inside and hope they don't mind. Maybe they have a phone or car or something. What is this? Is this an Italian restaurant? Oh. Let me just close the door. It's getting kind of cold. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, Traveler. Santa has so much stuff that he hasn't even been able to read his list, so he has no idea if you've been naughty or nice. At least it's warm. Is there anything in this chest? No. To help him out, the elves have set up this test to determine that. Just press the button and find your present in the trunk. Huh. I thought he only did that for kids. I'm an adult. Well, I guess it can't hurt. I'd rather have a phone, but it could be worse. Oh, man! Hey there guys, this is Unlike the Waffle here, and welcome back to another Redstone build. I do apologize for that terrible acting in the intro. But, as you know, the Christmas season is now upon us for this year. So, what better way to celebrate it than making a machine that tells you if you have been naughty or nice throughout the year? The way that we have set this up is that when the machine determines that you've been naughty, then it gives you coal, and when you've been nice, it gives you a reward like diamond boots. Over here you can see the chests that hold them. This side is the good side so it has the diamond boots. This side is the bad side so it has the coal in it. You can put any items you want in here, really. I just chose it because that's a classic. If you're naughty, Santa gives you a lump of coal. You could also use any other items that you want as a reward. You can give him clay, you can give him redstone, you can give him diamond chest plate. You could even give him a, an enchanted book. As long as you can afford it, really. The way that this contraption works is that it is basically a large randomizer. In here you can see that we have one non-stackable item and one stackable item. When that gets a signal, then it will send up one of those two items. If it's the stackable item, then it will give a weak signal strength and it will go along this line up here and up to that hopper which will release one or two items into that hopper which feeds into that dropper and into the chest. And whenever you press the button, no matter what item comes up in the randomizer, it'll send another signal all the way through this lawn delay up to the dropper itself so that the item can be put into the chest. If the non-sackable item comes up in the randomizer, then it will send out a strong signal, which goes to that end instead, comes over here and goes up, and it also comes over here and locks this one so that it does not send both signals at the same time. And because I wanted this to be a Christmassy theme, I went with quartz, green, and red stained clay. But you can choose to put in here whatever blocks you want. Really, any of them work. You can even change these up if you want to. The only thing you have to make sure is that that block right there gets to be transparent, because otherwise this won't open. The floor you can even change. I just have carpet on here because down here, you can see we have glowstone there. And we want this place to be lit up so that no mobs will spawn. For this build, you are going to need two droppers, four hoppers, 64 block of your choice, one comparator, 15 redstone dust, eight repeaters, nine redstone torches, three chests, 13 stone slabs, two glowstone blocks, 10 white carpet, or whatever copper you want, 36 blocks of quartz, 
11 green stained clay, 11 red stained clay, 1 stone button, it has to be stone, not wood, and 1 door, any door you want. You also want the single non-stackable item and the single stackable item for the randomizer, as well as the items you want as rewards. You are going to want to work in a 6x9 area like you see here. The first thing that we're going to do is work on the randomizer circuit, so we're going to come up 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks from the left corner. Place a dropper facing upwards with the hopper facing down into that one. Then we're going to place blocks coming out from that, four of them to be exact. Place one comparator on that first block, feeding into redstone dust. Then we're going to make a small ring of stone right here. With two horns on the top of it, just like that. Then we're going to place our repeaters. One single tick repeater here, here, and here facing that way, then a three tick repeater here, and here, and a single two tick repeater right here with redstone dust in that gap. Next, we need to do the dispensing circuit. We can do that by placing one block right here, another block on top of that with two more coming off the side of it, just like this. Place another line of junk blocks on top of that. On this middle block, place one block right here with another block coming up diagonally from that. And then on either end of this line, we are going to place two more blocks on the top, two on the sides, and get rid of that whole middle line because we are done with that now. Coming back around, we need now to fill up almost all of these gaps with redstone torches. Right here, 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 and here. Here, and finally, right here. Then on top of this block, we are going to place our last dropper facing inwards, right into a chest. Then on the back, we place our last three hoppers by placing the first one into that dropper, and the other two facing into that hopper on either side. Next up is some of the aesthetics for this, mainly the inside of the room. We do that by placing two slabs like this, and then a whole stack of them right next to that, all the way up until you get to just above the chest. Place a roof over that, and another stack on that side to frame out the chest. Then for the room, we place one block right here, come out three more blocks from that, two more on either side, then we're coming around to this back corner, place one glowstone here and here, and top all of this with carpet. As I said before, you can switch this out for another floor if you want to, but do have some lighting, because mobs will spawn in here. Now we're going to come around to the back. On this middle block, we are going to place one quartz. Then we're going to start off with whatever clay you want, or any other block, that is, if you decide not to use red or green clay. Place it right here right here, and then a stack of three coming off of that. Continue that twice more, so that you get a full wall. And repeat this on the other side. So that way, we now have three walls completely finished, as well as the floor. Just like that. Then on this wall, we are going to place our stone button right here. This is it, guys. We are about to put in the last bit of our circuitry. Place one junk block right here on top of this hopper, and another one right here. This block right here has the button on it on the other side. Then on the side of this junk block, we are going to make stairs downwards. Right there. Do the same on the other side. But instead of placing just one right here, we're going to place two. Then we're going to grab our repeaters, place one right here with four ticks of delay on it, another one right here with two, and then fill up everything that we just placed with redstone dust. When we get down here, we're going to place it just like this onto the ground and feeding directly into the randomizing dropper. And of course, what kind of building would be complete without exterior walls and a ceiling? We're going to start off our ceiling by placing it right here, 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 and then fill it all the way up, just like this. Then for the front wall, we're going to place a whole line just like this, twice thick, same on the other side. And then fill up this top row so that way it looks all even and nice. 
Don't forget to put that block right there because that is where our door is. Then we make a whole line across the front if you want to. This is not necessary, but it is part of the build list, so you can use less resources if you need to. If you have this opening up into like a mall or just a shopping area, then you don't necessarily need this. Also, another thing is if you don't want an open doorway, you can always get rid of this carpet and this stone, place this, and place the door right on top of that to seal it all off nicely. And now just to load our items, just come into your dropper, place your unstackable and stackable items, and that is it for the dropping mechanism. Get rid of that junk block of course. Then coming up here we can always place one chest right here and here, so that way you never have to worry about running out of items at least anytime soon, especially for the coal. But we're going to come into these hoppers because they are powered right now and won't accept items and place your coal and your good items, just like that. What redstone build would be complete without a good testing session first, yeah? Press the button, this should all be working, and yes it is, fantastic. All right guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. As always, there will be a download of this world in the description if you want to check it out in closer detail. I hope everyone enjoyed it, and if you did, please feel free to leave a like and a comment below, and I will see you next time. So long, everyone.